we're in cell Q5 equals that 65,000 right there. Then I need to make this new GL account here to post out there. So I'm going to go all the way to the end where we got my blue accounts, my blue accounts out here, and we'll just make one. So I need like, I need like another set of accounts between these two. So what I'm going to, because I want to have one after, after equity. So I'm going to put my cursor on the skinny column here on the skinny. Put it on the skinny, and then we're going to drag on over to AH, Control C, right click, and then we're going to go on that skinny, on the skinny column. It's hard because it's skinny, but we're going to right click on it, anyways, and then paste it, insert, insert, not paste, but insert the copied cells. There we have it. So that looks good. So then this top one, I'm just going to, going to replace it. So I'm going to take this one below it, and I'm just going to cut it, Control x and i'll just put it on top of this one on top so there we have that i'm going to delete the beginning balance because that's that's not the proper beginning balance it started at zero and then i'm going to say here in cell uh, aj2 i'm going to pick up the name by saying equals and pull over the name from the trial balance which is going to be owner investment so there we have that and then we can post it to it one one so now I'm in cell AK5 equals left to the wall, picking up that owner investment. That looks good, but it's not being picked up in the general ledger totals over here either. So it's not being picked up in that total in my check figure. So I'm going to double, double click on it, go to the end of it and say plus and pick up that last one, which should put us back in the balance make sure you do the one at the bottom i want to pick it up down here so it, it'll it'll adjust automatically so there we have it that looks good we also have this gap over here in in my in my gl or this space down below but that's okay that actually works perfect because it's at the end anyway so that's not a problem that's not a problem i was thinking it's a problem but it's not so now we got ninety thousand, and now we're going to say we'll take out a loan at the same time because we need to buy a lot of equipment and inventory we're going to do a guitar shop so we need we need like the office to be looking good and the selling store and like furniture and we need then the guitars the inventory so in any case we're going to then say the checking account's going to go up again because we're going to take out a loan and then the other side this time is going to go to loan payable not to income again because it's a checking account's going up but it's not income because we have to pay it back plus interest the rent on it to the bank most likely as we took the loan out so we're going to alignment and indent and then this one we were saying fifty thousand we took out a fifty thousand dollar loan there's the debit there's the credit so let's post that out we're going to go on over to the checking account something's in it i'm going to go into it fancy like with the keyboard f2 plus f2 and then scroll on over to that fifty thousand never having touched the mouse and recording it like so and then the loan payable is going to be down below. We're in cell M11 equals scrolling over to that 50,000. The loan is going up from 22,000 up in the credit direction by 50,000 to 72,000. Let's post this out now. The checking account. Checking account is going to be right over here. We're in this. Is this 1-1 one, one again? Yeah, 1-1 one, one, I guess. These aren't the beginning balances. This is part of the current time frame. So this is going to be equal to... We're going to pick up then that 50000 for the 140000 And then I'm going to go to the loan payable. So it went from 90 plus 50 to the 140 because the debit to the debit amount account made it go up. That's also tied out here to the 140 on the trial balance. We're out of balance on the general ledger until we record the loan payable, which is the last liability account in the trial balance. And that it's going to be the same in the general ledger because that's how it works. So accounts, assets, liabilities over here, we're in AF511. We're in AJ5 equals left to the wall, picking up that 50,000. So we had the 22,000 before. It's going up by 50,000 because we're doing the same thing to it, crediting a credit balance account, bringing it to 72,000. So that's 72,000 then also matching what's on the trusty trial balance. We're back in balance with the items up top on the general ledger with our check figures. Check figures, check out, roger that. 1040, 1040, 104. That's 
that's the tax return. So everything looks pretty good here, uh, and we'll move forward with more data input next time.